I'm back again. This time I'm doing a Halloween haul. It's mainly, um, it was, oh, I'm trying to find time to clean my hand off it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be doing swatches, so I'm going to just go ahead because this is not going to be another 10 minute video, y'all. I got some of the Fantasy Maker Painter's Palette. This one is in Devilish Clean. And you know they put these out every year, but every year they try to throw in a new color palette, a different color scheme. So I just grab the ones that I don't have. I believe it's four altogether, but the other two came out last year, year before, whatever. And then this one right here is called Rockstar. Had to get that yellow, that blue, everything. And these are face paints, but I'm not telling you you should do what I do. But I have used these for um, bases for my eyeshadows. No staining, no problem whatsoever. So not recommending it. Just tell me what I have done before and I didn't have any problems. So. Next I'm going to show you um, this. Actually, okay, let me break this down. Okay, these you can find at Walgreens. So this is the Good and Evil. And this is what it looks like. And it's just a double-sided mirror. I don't want to blind you And it's just like the other palettes where they put out Snow White. They put out, was it Cinderella? I don't even remember. Hold on. Okay, I know it's Cinderella. No, it was Snow White and Ariel. And the next one is supposed to be Jasmine. And I was told they're going to do all of the princesses so with this it was like the other collections they had makeup bags lashes a six pan eyeshadow palette a lip gloss set a brush set this everything so by me knowing now that they're going to do all of the princesses i'm not even sure how many is i know it's a slew of them i'm gonna try to keep it simple i'm definitely gonna get the eyeshadow books with the collection and probably one other item. I don't need the bag. I don't need the lashes because the lashes are regular lashes for the most part. They just put it in a fancy packaging. And I don't need no lip glosses and I don't, I don't need that. So I'm going to just do like the biggest eyeshadow, maybe the six pan for the rest of the collections and that's that. It depends because I got to see what it looks like. So that's what the compact looks like. And once again, this is the good versus evil. And this is what the palette looks like. I believe the palette is $9.99. You get a mirror. That kind of, I don't want to break it. Then you get the inside like this. Get like the look book to give you ideas on how to create looks. And then inside you get your good and evil palettes I guess you could say that's the beauty and then this is the night villain so with each one you get six shadows and a lip color and then you get one black liner so that's what that looks like I can't wait to see what the jasmine one looks like bro. that's gonna be pretty they should have they should have copied off of Sephora and definitely put mirrors with each of the Princesses that that would have been like great. So it's like all the collections are not identical. They are putting them out with different sets, like different sets. So okay. Next, I got the Elf Halloween book. Now, when I saw swatches and everything, I was impressed. Found them in the first Target I looked at. Looked at them, was not impressed. Um, kind of marinated. I saw some other swatches. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get them. And there was one I felt like I could do without. I said, no, let me get it now because it's the luck of me going into a third store and finding all of them there. So, and they're only six dollars. And you know how you know Halloween is approaching fastly, so people are buying their makeup, costumes, and everything. So, I know my luck was gonna run out. But I have seen people show these, um, like on Instagram, saying that they found them at Walgreens. So check out your Walgreens, and they've showed it on the end cap or display area that has this in this in the same area so because I guess they're both marketed towards Halloween so this first one is the vampire book inside you get lashes 
You get eight shadows, a dull and a brush, a liner, and a lip color. So this one is very fall appropriate. Like I do want to swatch um, that burnt. It's a couple of orangey rust colors. So let's, let's see what that's about. I know that can be kind of hit or miss. So that's why I think I was kind of leery. But that's it right there. This one definitely need a base. It's those three right there. Don't mind those swatches. It's from the video before this. So that's okay. This next one is the Diva palette. For $7, you can't, you can't beat that. These books a while ago used to be like $5. Their prices have increased by a dollar, but I guess. But if y'all notice, like, it plays that sneaky little game. Like, I know, like, their little fake paint pot on their site used to be, um, $2. Now they're $3. So they ain't real sneaky with their prices sometimes. And this is what this is be the way it looks like. And what really caught my eye, and this one, I'm not going to lie, is this lip color. And I am going to swatch that. And I'm hoping that it's pigment free. Mm, I don't know. It's glittery. Oh. I guess cause you got to be careful with the Halloween because a lot of stuff is going to be costumey. If that makes any sense. Right there. It has like reflex glitters in it so and it's not that pigmented uh, you want some you lose some so once again this is diva this one is wicked I know this is one I was definitely gonna get oh sorry I'm missing my Pandora too I gotta keep motivated, like, I'm trying to pump these videos out so I can put this stuff away, like, going through this makeup, shaking my head, like, you gotta be kidding me, and I still got stuff on my list that I wanna get, like, I honestly don't need makeup for the rest of my life, like, if I haven't been considered a hoarder, I think it's happening now or coming real soon, <laughs> real soon, so, Oh, this one have a black look color. But this is wicked. I'm going to swatch that black. Because, y'all, yeah, I'm going to search. I'm going to hunt for the perfect black. And if you watch my beauty supply store haul, you'll see the three black lipsticks that I do have. But I think I might have to uh, place a pretty zombie cosmetic order again. Oh, oh, look. Oh, no, nah, that joint came out like black. Oh, yes, baby, that's black. Right there. That's black. I'm going to line and fill my lips with that 99 cent. But a wild uh, brow pencil put this on top. Nah, you ain't going to be with something like that. It's going to be Halloween every day because I'm about to just start rocking black lips. How do I jump from being on a new kit to rocking black lipstick? Yeah, I'm special. So those are the colors in Wicked again. And this, oh, I didn't mean to pop my lips. I'm sorry, that's so weird. Um, this next one is called Enchanted. Oh, and just to let you know, and I should go back and apologize to the lady at the, the original Target I went to look for these ones. I wasn't sure if I wanted them or not. Um, it's not in the regular makeup section. It is in the Halloween section of Target. And she told me that, and I was like, this chick don't know what she's talking about. Half the time, these people in these stores, Sephora, Oats, and all that, don't know what they're talking about. I put, what did I take to Ulta on Saturday? The NYX um, Eyebrow Primer. I need another one. And I don't want to place an order just for that one product, but I might have to. The lady going to say, keep in mind, I got it from Ulta, from that Ulta. Do y'all have this? It was just it was just a test question. Oh, we don't carry that yet. Next. Um, Enchanted. It just irritates me when, when like, don't you have to do product knowledge training or 
I don't know. This is the one I felt like I didn't need because it's, it's kind of blah, I would say. I'm just taking it tape from around the protective layer. That's what I need. Mean. And this is what Enchanted looks like. And I do want to swatch them. I don't think I'm going to wear them lashes though. They look too... Um, it's too plasticky. Like, I think that's why I... When I first started... I would say the Dollar Line lashes from Oath are good practice lashes. Um, For when you're trying to get to learn how to put on lashes. But once you kind of either almost mastered or mastered it, I wouldn't recommend those lashes. Me personally, because they look very classy. And that's it. That's the uh, look color right there. That's, now, I, that one I like. This one and the black one, yeah. And they don't have names. They don't have a small either. And this one comes with a white liner, so, yeah. Enchanted. So, six books. And then next thing you know, they're going to have their Christmas one. I don't think I got the ones from last year. I think I got the ones the year before. Y'all remember the one with the glitter? That was that was the best one. Like, the best one. I've given most of my 32 palettes away from my elf. And their little encyclopedia book. I just had to give some stuff away because it was... I'm rambling. So, sorry about that. So, um, yeah. Just, um, let me know y'all, um, what, um, Halloween makeup are y'all getting. Like, I like this time of year because you can get makeup really cheap and you can get makeup that you can be creative with and stuff you can use throughout the year. Like, I know this, this may be a good time to get certain brands of, like, their clown white to use as, um, an eyeshadow base. Um, instead of like the milk pencil and stuff like that, get something inexpensive and does the same trick. So you can just find makeup, Halloween makeup that you can multi use for just different things. You might intend to buy it for your Halloween costume to do your Halloween makeup, but you can use those products, you know, outside of it. So you can get more for your money. Why not? And then y'all know soon this stuff won't go on sale 75% off because they're going to be making their way for um, Christmas collection. So you can get um, makeup products for dirt cheap. So, yeah, that's my quick little haul and ramble. And I'll catch you girlies in the next video.